Okay, hi YouTube. Um, I've been having a lot of problems with my PS3 and the whole Roxio HD Game Capture Pro. So, now that I've literally just got this working 30 seconds ago, I'm going to see if I can make a video that will help people like me, because I can't find anything on that crap over there. Right, so let's turn my camera around a second. PC, you can see my PS3 is on there. Television, finally have this thing on here. My game capture is at the back here. Let's lift this out so that you can see it. Sorry. All right. So I've got the five pins in here to the PS3. HD cable going out. What I did have before was, I don't know if you can see at the bottom there or not, I did buy a five pin HDM, hey, sorry, five pin composite to HDMI, which is what this thing here is. Completely useless, don't actually need that. I've been trying this for an hour and 45 minutes now to get this working. I finally managed to get this going. Let's have a look at what I've got. Alright. So, video settings, display, video. I'm on component D terminal. These two settings on here 576p, 720p. Let's finish that. Set audio to that thing, the audio input connector, and we're done. This is now working on here. A lot of people have been saying that you need to set your camera to focus, apparently. Um, there we go. That should be set to component instead of HDMI. That was fine. The problem that I had was... No, I actually don't know. I've got to figure it out, and I'll come back to you. Alright, we good? Cool. Sorry about the uh, focus quality on it. I'm using an SLR. Long story. So, it seems that what I was trying to do, and the problem was, that I had my television set to both of the HDMI ports. Which, see if I can get the back of this television. I had it set to HDMI 1 and HDMI 2 and I was trying to change channels to get between the two. I had my components plugged into the output side of my Roxio there going into that second HDMI slot. I'm pretty sure that was the ultimate problem. So what I've done is I have the five pins going into the Roxio from the PS3 and a HDMI cable there going in from my Xbox. Let's lift this out so you can get a look again. Alright, so what we have here, five pins from the PS3, HDMI from the Xbox, this HDMI goes into my television only, USB obviously to the computer. PS3 on the television, PS3 on the PC, this is its component. Let's see if I can drop this down again. Drop this over to HDMI. Boom. Xbox. 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 Cancel. Sorry. Connect. Um, right. So my advice to you if you're going to try and do the same as me and you've got a PS3 and an Xbox and the PS3 is not behaving is do what I've done. This 5 pin you've sadly got to buy for yourself because Roxio are cheap. I honestly wouldn't advise you getting this card, but if, like me, you've got the card, you may as well use the damn thing. Get one of these off of Amazon, uh, from whichever country you live in. HDMI to your Xbox, HDMI to your television. After a little bit of fighting with the damn thing, you'll probably get it to work. The last thing is, on your PS3 down here, if, like me, you've got one of the old-style ones, it'll be this chunky, if not, lucky you. You can see I've got both lights on here. If you turn this off, hit it on to standby, it will turn red. What you want to do then is hold the button for 5 seconds, it will beep, and then it will beep again at the end of the 5 seconds. And it will reset your video settings to figure out what the hell is going on with it. Make sure your HDMI cable is unplugged at this point, you only want this composite plugged in. What you want to do then is go to your computer, make sure this is set to components, 
and then walk away for like a minute or two. When you come back, you'll hopefully see this on your, t on your PC, and this is probably going to be black. That's what mine was. From there, adjust your video settings on your PC using your controller. Move this over to your audio settings. Move on to your display settings over here and manually set your display via your PC. It's roundabout, it's crap. Don't buy a Roxio if you can avoid it. I got what I paid for. That's all I can say there. But once again, display, video output settings, and you want to go to your component D terminal. Three pins. Alright? I hope this helps. If you have any questions, any problems, hit me up a message. I'll see what I can do for you. Alright, cheers. Bye.